For my Christmas wish, I wish. I wish I'd meet a friend, one on whom I can depend. So, me? You really screwed up your big wish. Hello, welcome to What the Flick. Christy Alonzo, Bibbs. There's a movie about Grumpy Cat. Are you aware of this? In case you had not gotten enough Grumpy Cat in various other forms across various platforms, there's a whole feature movie of Grumpy Cat. It's called, what's it called? Grumpy, Grumpy Cat's, Cat's Worst Christmas Ever. Yay, so tell us about it. Okay, so there's a Grumpy <laughs> Cat, and, and she's gonna have like a worst Christmas ever, and there's like a little girl, and there's some dog nappers, and they're in a mall, and there's a, a, a worst like Christmas sweater contest, and they're in a mall, and let's check it out. This Christmas. You were talking to me. What are you, some kind of blonde witch? I heard all of that. Stop it. You stop it. You stop it, witch. When it comes to the holiday spirit. Don't get sappy on me. Wait, I forgot. It's a Lifetime movie. All pets are off. Dude, grab that cat. But we know! Die, bad guys! Aubrey Plaza brings the internet sensation to life. This is the best Christmas ever. Go ahead, ignore the title of my movie. Grumpy Cat's Worst Christmas Ever. Is it good? It's actually <laughs> pretty good. Yes. <laughs> There's no reason it for this is. movie to be good. No. It's actually quite it's, good. I'm flabbergasted because it, yeah, obviously it is. It is this shameless cash in on a on an internet meme. And, and it's a lifetime. And it's a lifetime movie, movie, by the way. This isn't like a theatrical release. No, this is yeah. a lifetime original movie. So premiering on the 29th. Were already pretty low. Wait, when's, but when's it airing? Premiering on the 29th, and I'm sure running a lot in December, and it comes out on yes. DVD in mid December. Uh, and here's the thing: they got like the writer, one of the writers did like Rocco's Modern Life. These are funny people. Mm -hmm. Like there's this, there's a good sense of wit to it. It's kind of knowing, it knows how cheap and dumb well, it is. Well, the real star here is Aubrey Plaza, who yeah. provides the voice of Grumpy Cat. And it's perfect. a perfect combo. <laughs> perfect. perfect, there we go. No, that is the sound of what Grumpy Cat would talk like, is, is a complainy Aubrey Plaza, like in full mm -hmm. Parks and Rec mode. Yeah, clearly just doesn't even want to be in the recording booth, Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> just sort of like, yeah, Grumpy Cat. Yeah. But but no, but I mean she's actually way, but no yeah she's way. committing she she's and not just that Garfield was missing in the Garfield movie sure like, there's a sort of just like in the Garfield comics he's just sort of Ugh, Mondays <laughs> and movies he's like yeah Mondays like no 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 <laughs> Robbie Plaza's just like I can't believe yeah. him in this dumbass movie and that's half the joke yeah and, and, Frank, that's half the and joke. frankly if if Eric Roberts could learn a thing or two from her on uh, if they ever make talking a talking cat, cat too yeah. yeah we'll we'll get there <laughs> but like there'll be a scene where there's like supporting characters who are in love and. Grumpy Cat will interrupt it and show up in a flash animation and just be like, yeah, I know, we're just sort of gliding through this. This is for the parents. We'll, we'll move on now. And, and, and periodically we'll interrupt things to, 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 to hawk her own merchandise. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and wall breaking. Oh, no, lots yeah. of wall breaking. But in a way that isn't cloying and the way that's actually kind of funny, like the comic timing is actually pretty good. Even though the movie is super cheap, like the animals' mouths don't move or anything, yeah. it, it looks like a cheap movie. You know, it, it feels like it, a cheap it, movie, it has but it's better written than it in Vancouver, me. written all over it, you yeah. know, and it, and it's <laughs> and, and yeah, it's it, 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 this is the kind of thing where it, it it leans a lot on the sort of meta fourth wall humor, which can be really tired and lazy, and mm -hmm. we've seen done a lot, but they do it in just enough of a skew. There's the, just the occasional wink and the occasional. It's not like a Ferris Bueller kind of thing. Yeah, like they know? don't yeah. they don't overplay their hand, and when they do it, they do it in a in a clever kind of way, and so. You know, I mean, again, we're giving this two scores, one as a movie in general and yeah. one as a lifetime movie. Yeah. Well, because standards are different. You know, when you're yeah. watching a movie that's made for TV or made for home video, you know, you are you're, you don't expect Barry Lyndon. You yeah, expect if you had paid 10 bucks for yeah. this, it'd be one thing. It but would, it would be kind of Sitting lame, on your sofa after a long yeah. Black Friday, you know, it's something Compared else. Compared to everything else that's on the Hallmark Channel and the Lifetime Movie Channel from now until Christmas, <laughs> this is actually very witty. It doesn't have that, although I actually find that sort of saccharine sincerity to a lot of those movies rather infectious. Mm -hmm. It's It doesn't have that, that naivete that like, oh, those poor people don't know what they're doing. You know, like, there's none of that. You're watching the Grumpy Cat movie and you're just like, ha-ha, that's silly. And there are funny things in the movie that aren't about Grumpy Cat. Like there are yeah. there are some supporting characters that are kind of fun. These two dopey metalheads who mm. who are planning a dog napping. It's a long story. Very um, long story. It's, they stole a subplot from one of the Air Bud movies. Yeah, or, or that darn cat maybe. Yeah. But um, so, yeah, um, so it's it, it is thoroughly silly, but we had a really good time. I have two too, questions so. for you. Yes. First of all, how long is it? Is it like it's More a, than an hour is like it's a like, it, it, I think it's two hours. It's two hours with commercials. Okay. So like eighty minutes probably without them. Okay, so you're talking about how chintzy it looks. Like from mm. a production value perspective, looking at Christmas movies, is this better or worse 
than Kirk Cameron saving Christmas. That <laughs> way, like crap. way <laughs> better than Kirk Cameron saving Christmas, although it does not have any sub zero free fridges in it. But beyond <laughs> that, it, the camera is point. placed in more interesting places. It moves sometimes. Yeah, no, it's it's a whole other they, thing. They, they, they like destroy a structure at one point. It's not the structure they wanted to destroy. They openly say in like the voiceover, we didn't have the money to break that thing, so we're gonna break this thing <laughs> instead. Cute. Yeah, like there's so they're they're playing with it. I yeah. think. And okay. they, they know their limitations they, they, they and they're play, working they, with they, it. Yeah, they play to their strengths. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so so what is your normal number? For okay, we're differentiating Com compared here, to right? any other normal non straight TV movie. This is like a six point five. Yeah, it's kind of cheesy and dumb, but it's me. enjoyable. Okay. Now, uh, on now, the number, the TV movie number. This is a nine. <laughs> this is totally a nine. This is a nine. A lifetime a nine. A life nine. Can we can we start reviewing like straight to TV lifetime movies all the time just so we can oh. use this particular field? God. Because you know I, then I we have to watch them. them. I'm fine with that. Would you watch it? Leave us a comment. This is like the Mildred Pierce of uh, lifetime <laughs> movies, right? If Olive Kittredge had starred Grumpy Cat, yes. <laughs> all right. So I guess you need to tune in. Go check your listings. It'll be on. Ad a lot, nauseum. I'm sure. Yeah. Bye. Happy holidays. <laughs>